All right, hello everybody. This is John Hanson with the Florida Physique Report. We are now on episode number four. Today is Thursday, August 7th, 2014. And this is a big weekend in the Tampa area because we've got the Tampa Bay Pro Show coming up the next two days, Friday and Saturday. It's a two-day event. It's one of the biggest, probably the biggest pro show of the year as far as the number of competitors. Tim, has, Tim Gardner, the promoter, has over 200 competitors competing this weekend in the pro division alone. He's got all eight pro divisions featured, so it's going to be a huge show. He's going to do half the pro divisions on Friday, and he's going to do the other half on Saturday. In addition to that, he's got the Tim Gardner Extravaganza, which is a amateur competition, but it's a national qualifier this year. He's got over 100 competitors competing in that. That event will be covered exclusively over here at FloridaPhysique.com. And welcome to our new home. This is uh, the new home for the Florida Physique Report. We are at the Powerhouse Gym in downtown Tampa, Florida. We have our new studio right here, and we're going to be doing all of our Florida Physique Reports right here from downtown Tampa, Florida at the Powerhouse Gym. And this place has been a hotbed of activity lately with all the uh, pros coming into town and the fans coming into town to Tampa for the weekend to uh, watch the show this weekend. So there's been a lot of people in here. Um, we've got uh, Tony Doherty from Australia has been here today. He was in town training. His wife Amanda is competing in the pro figure division. And uh, Neil Hill, the trainer of Flex Lewis, was in town also. He was training here. He's training William Bonick for the show. William's doing the pro men division. He should be a top contender. I believe Victor Martinez is doing the show also. So it's going to be a great show. It's going to be a lot of fun here at Tampa Powerhouse uh, over the weekend with a lot of people coming into town. On today's report of the Florida Physique Report, I want to talk about um, the Dexter Jackson Classic, which was held last weekend out in Jacksonville, Florida. A huge event, over 180 competitors. It was held at the University of North Florida, and this is also a national qualified show. Dexter himself is the promoter, along with his girlfriend, Gail, and they had a huge event this time. Um, Dexter himself was the guest poser, and he was looking amazing at seven weeks out from the Olympia. He weighed over 250 pounds, which I think is the biggest I've ever seen Dexter, and he's in good shape, so he should be a real surprise at the Olympia this year. Our guest today on the Florida Physique Report is Amanda Hatfield. She is a fitness professional, and she was in town from Cleveland, Ohio, with her boyfriend Joe, and she is going to be competing in the show this weekend, so we got a chance to sit down with Amanda and talk to her about her training for the competition. But before we get to Amanda, let's go over the Dexter Jackson Classic. I want to talk about the results from that show. It was a great competition. Like I said, uh, the competitors were excellent. Fantastic competition in all divisions. So let me just talk about the winners really quickly. It started off again with the men's masters bodybuilding. And Tony O'Connor, who was in the southern states this year, cleaned up again in the over 70 and over 60 divisions. Tony is one of the best bodybuilders I've ever seen over 70 years old. He's incredible. He's usually the only competitor in the over 70, so he always goes into the over 60 to give himself a little competition. And again, Tony won both contests. He's an amazing bodybuilder. You really got to see this guy to believe him. In the over 50 division, uh, Tim Durning was the overall winner. Tim is a really big guy. I tell you, these over 50 competitors they look bigger than the over 40 guys did a couple years ago. The competition is just amazing on how it's improving so much. And the over 40, really, really good contest in this, in this division. Davis was the overall winner. Tim was big and shredded, rock hard. He just did the Masters Nationals a couple weeks ago, so he was definitely in top shape. He's a good friend of Dexter, and Dexter himself talked him into doing the show, which was great, because Tim not, not only won the Masters men bodybuilding over 40, he also won the men's bodybuilding open division. So congratulations to Tim, he looked great. He's gonna be doing a North America in a couple of weeks. Uh, the novice bodybuilding was won by Miles Hall. The teen bodybuilding was won by Garen Stallcup. Women's physique had some really good competitors. Angel Coleman was the winner. Angel uh, just won a contest a couple of weeks ago out here in Florida. So she's a really good women's physique competitor. Hopefully she'll be competing on the national level pretty soon. And the Masters figure, it was won by 57-year-old Susan Powell, who looked incredible for 57 years old. Congratulations to Susan. Over 40 Masters figure was won by Michelle Ward, who was also a big winner a couple weeks ago out in St. Augustine at the uh, Ancient City Classic. The over 30 division was won by Jordana Allenon from Miami. She just competed last weekend at the Beach Bodies Classic. She's got a great shape. 
Uh, short competitor, but just perfect proportions, great shape. She won the over 30. And then in the figure open, Jordana also won the short class, class A. Um, class B was won by Beth Harris. And then class C went to Devin Manny. Devin, of course, was last week's winner at the Beach Bodies Classic. She won the overall here as well. She won class C and the overall. Devin's gonna be going to the uh, North America later this month, so we wish her the best there. She's got all the potential in the world, as I said last week, to do some real damage on the national scene. Just a great structure. Sort of reminds me of Corey Everson. You know, when Corey came out, and she just had those wide shoulders, small waist, proportionate legs. So Devin's gonna do really well. In the men's physique division, uh, the teenage class was won by Austin Murata. The novice division was won by Nicholas Rich. Uh, Nick again won his Robin shorts. His father, uh, Dave Rich, was competing in the men's. Dave wears his Batman posing trunks and Nick wears his Robin uh, board shorts. So they're a team to contend with. So congratulations to Nick. I think that was his first victory in the men's physique. In the over 35 division, Frank Same from Miami, who used to compete in the southern states back in the 80s as a middleweight bodybuilder. He was excellent. Now he switched over to men's physique, and he's, I believe, in his late 40s, early 50s. So Frank's looking awesome for his age, and uh, he won the over 35 division. And the men's physique open, one of the biggest divisions in the whole night. Les Foster, who was also a winner last week at the Beach Bodies Classic, he won the short class. Miles Jones won class B, the medium class. And then the overall and the class C went to Laquan Burnell. Laquan had a really lean physique, definitely not as big as some of the other competitors, but he had a really small waist, tight abs, and uh, he beat out a lot of competitors. I think there was over 24 guys in his class, over 40 guys just in the men's physique alone. So great division to win. Um, the bikini over 30 was won by Jasmine Sony. The novice bikini division went to Sally Aponte. And the, the teen division went to Christiana Bush. And then the open bikini, again, one of the biggest, one of the biggest divisions in the, of the night. A lot of competitors. Erica Snyder was the winner of Class A. Class B went to Vicky Kolamainen, who came all the way from Dallas. And Stephanie Sakira won the tall class, Class C. And then in the overall, Vicky Kolamainen won the overall. And then finally, with the bodybuilding division, a lot of great competitors. Dwayne Huggabrook won the lightweight class. Ryan Bangia, Bangia, I believe his name is, won the middleweight class. Ryan was incredible, uh, shredded glutes. I mean, this guy's glutes were like unbelievable. So he was one of the hardest competitors in the show. He won the middleweights. Tim Davis, the winner of the Masters, also won the light heavyweights. Jesse Dean, who was the overall winner last weekend at the Beach Bodies Classic, was the heavyweight winner. And Ben Asman was the super heavyweight. And as I mentioned before, Tim Davis won the overall there. So that was a great competition. Congratulations to all the competitors. Um, one of the best shows I've seen all year, the Dexter Jackson Classic. So congratulations to Dexter and Gail for putting on such a great event. And this weekend, we got the Tampa Bay Pro. It's going to be a great weekend out here in Tampa, along with the Tim Gardner Extravaganza, which will be covered exclusively on FloridaPhysique.com. And uh, we're going to take a break right now for the Florida Physique Report. When we come back, we're going to be joined by Amanda Hatfield, pro fitness competitor who will be competing in the pro division this weekend. She's from Cincinnati, Ohio, and she's in town just for this show. So we're gonna, she's going to be joining us on the Florida Physique Report. We'll be right back. All right, we're back from the Florida Physique Report. This is John Hansen, and we have a special guest with us today, Amanda Hatfield, fitness pro competitor. You're in town for competing the pro, Tampa Pro this yes. weekend. Mm -hmm. So um, what shows have you done already this year, Amanda? Uh, the first one was Arnold uh, Classic in Columbus. Okay. Um, then we went to Brazil right after that, um, Toronto, and then Chicago. Wow. Chicago, okay. Wings so of this Strength. this is like your fifth mm -hmm. one already this year? Yep. Wow. Yeah, just keep the party going. Okay. <laughs> so now how long have you been a fitness pro? Um, since 2012, Junior Nationals. Okay. And I earned my card there, and then we did um, Fort Lauderdale Cup right after, mm -hmm. and then Miami Pro. Okay. Great. That year, so. So a couple of years now as a fitness yeah, pro. Yeah. Yeah. Broken in. Yeah. <laughs> and this is one of the few shows that has fitness because a lot of shows don't have right. fitness. Right. We're starting to see a little bit more. Yeah. Because it's been really well supported. A lot of us are jumping in. There's a, I mean, there's a quite a good lineup this show too. Yeah. So a lot of the girls are just really pushing it and doing as many shows as they can. So mm -hmm. it's it's making a comeback. So. I love fitness. I used to promote shows in Chicago, and I promote a show out here in Tampa. But I always love mm -hmm. having fitness because gets the crowd going, right. you know, with their routines and the stuff, the high energy. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> right. I used to like starting the show off with that because it was so entertaining, you know. Well, thank you. 
So how long have you been training now? Like when did you first start weight training? Um, I've been training since I was a teenager. I, um, okay. I did track and gymnastics and so a little bit, didn't really know what I was doing, just kind of in the gym, just lifting stuff. Didn't yeah. Didn't really yeah. know <laughs> what was going on, but um, got really serious about 2003. Mm -hmm. Found out I didn't even know this existed, the sport. So really? once I found this and it gave me something to do, I started researching and doing a little more, you know, smart training. Yeah. Um, so 2004, I competed that whole year, did all the national shows, but didn't didn't yeah. earn my card. So yeah, just wasn't in the and the timing was bad. So right. But um, then we recently just kind of fell into a little gym that we you know we've been wanting to do a dream of ours, been wanting to own a gym for a while. We have a boyfriend, Joe Mazzone. Mm -hmm. So we stumbled onto that, and then that just gave me the time and the freedom to, to start training again the way okay. I needed to. So and then it was right away we just went started competing, and that year I got the pro card and yeah. Here we are. Now, what's the training like for a fitness competitor? Because I know you obviously have to weight train because you're being judged on your physique, too. There's a physique round. And then you have to put a lot of time into the routine, which you have a gymnastics background. But what, what do you have to do, like, as far as, like, a week goes, uh, how do you schedule that, you know, with it's, the weight training and the other stuff? It's tough. Um, it's, you know, I, I like to do my cardio first thing in the morning, mm -hmm. have a meal, and then go do routine practice because... Out of all of it, the routine practice is probably the hardest. Yeah, I would think, yeah. yeah so I'd get that out of the way first, and then whatever you got left, I'd put into the other. You have, you know, weightlifting, and then usually when you're closer to the show, you have two cardios a day. So okay. you're looking at usually two 45-minute sessions of cardio. Wow. Half hour to 45 minutes of weight training, and about an hour of routine practice, depending on, you know, where you're at in the, in the training. Wow, so, okay. And then so you're flexibility, doing, it's, it's, it's a... You're doing the cardio in the morning, and then you come back and do the routine and well, the Well, I work training. in the gym, so I don't leave. I just oh, go okay. there, and <laughs> I'm there until 10 o'clock <laughs> right. I work a little bit, I work out a little bit, then I work a little bit. Right. <laughs> so I couldn't do this, probably, at this level and this you know, magnitude if I had another job. Yeah, a 9-to-5 job, yeah, yeah. I mean, impossible. in 2004, I, I was a hairdresser. Okay. So, I mean, I was in the salon 40 hours a week, and mm. I was able to do it, but not, not at this level. There's yeah. no way... Wow. to push this hard so so how many hours a week then are you doing your routine <sighs> probably you know seven to eight hours a week yeah yeah and then how about weight training you know half hour 45 minutes a day so okay. but you know is that three four hours something like that yeah okay yeah. wow now how do you come up with the idea for the routines because this is the big part of the routines right you know, everybody has to try you to can do get them you, yeah. you ask all your friends you ask your boyfriend you, you dream about it right, <laughs> you know? right. some days you're training it just something just hits you so uh -huh. it's um it just comes from wherever you can pull it movies you know yeah yeah i've seen james bond ones and, right yeah. Like, oh yeah i can use that you right know? right so yeah it just depends i have a new one i'm in the back of my mind boiling right now so. oh yeah okay yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell us right. <laughs> Big secret. So when you get a good one, do you like stick with it for a few shows, or do you try to change it every time? I imagine it'd be hard I used to change, to change a lot, yeah. but now it's just I, this year I didn't. I kept the same routine all year, which mm -hmm. I don't. I didn't do that in the past. But w when you work that hard in a routine, the longer you keep it, the better it gets. Yeah. So I mean, you can change little things and tweak some parts if you you know, get a new skill or something, throw it in there. But right. you know, for the most part, for the pros, we usually keep the one all same one all year round. So. Okay. Okay. Now I was talking to your boyfriend Joe, and he said you're close to getting the Olympic. Or you are going to the Olympics right now. I'm, I'm okay. the fifth person, so okay. I'm here to hold that spot. Right, right. <laughs> or move up a little, like right. But, yeah. So where are you hoping to place this week? Or it's hard to say. Is this a pretty well, big lineup? Bethany's this pretty tough, yeah. yeah. So I'm, I'm hoping for second. I'm not even gonna worry about first. Yeah, <laughs> we'll okay. Just give, we'll just give it to Bethany. Uh -huh. But um, yeah, I'm hoping for second here. Okay, all right. And then, have you ever done the Olympia? No, I've never even nope. been to Olympia. So oh, really? I'm so excited. Oh, yeah, this, this is, like, is the 50th yeah. anniversary. Yeah. yeah, so it's going to be a great time. Yeah, okay. So you have the um, competitors meeting this tonight, right? The athletes Correct. meeting. Mm -hmm. And then oh, are you guys on stage Friday and Saturday? Are you doing No, both? just Friday. Just Friday, okay. Yeah. So it's yeah. all done on Friday. Yeah. Okay. And then the, you're going to do the routine round and also the physique round. Yeah, our physique round is pre-judging, and then they bring us back at the night show for routine round. Okay. What do you think is your strongest round? Uh, oh, uh, if it's fitness the um the routine round the routine, is yeah, yeah. It's the best for me i get killed in body round oh really i'm yeah. hoping to change that this time so. what are you trying to work on as far as your physique it's my shape you know just coming in with a better v taper the v taper yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay all right well thanks for joining us Bethany. Well, i know you, you got to get going having you got the me. athletes reading but yeah. uh, we wish you the best of luck well thank you thanks all for right. having me i appreciate it all right this is john answer with amanda hatfield for the floridaphysique.com